Oh, we got an old fart on here. Watch. He's cranky. I can feel it already. Well, thanks for calling. Let me know if I can help. Buddy, just like that, you're going to let me go. So I think I'll, I'll think I'm going to shop around and try to find somebody that's been doing it a little bit longer. We can handle all of your home's needs to the best of our ability. We clean hundreds of millions of dollars for real estate every single year. But you've only been doing it for one year. I just want to stay that same mad shit by my shoulder because they treat me like an outcast. I ain't going to take that stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits. I'm We're going to trigger somebody real quick. And by the way, listen to me. This is how you learn. Hey, this is Ethan the East Coast Soft Watch. How can I help you? Yeah, um, I was calling, what all do you guys wash? Uh, we're exterior cleaning specialists. We do houses, roofs, driveways, gutters, whole nine yards, and windows as well. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, number one, how do you guys charge? Um, fair, competitive, a um, couple hundred bucks for a house wash. It kind of varies job to job, but in that area. Okay, so, so to wash a house is roughly how much? Um... 200 250 in that area for all residential house washes. Okay, I got it. Okay, awesome. How long have you guys been in business? Um, 2023. 2023, so kind of a new business? Yes, Fairly new, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I was kind of hoping to find somebody that's been doing it for a while. Just having somebody spray my house, I didn't want to, you know, have any paint come off or anything like that. So I think I'll, I'll, think I'm going to shop around and try to find somebody that's been doing it a little bit longer. Okay, I understand. Um, I've got one question for you before you go. Okay. Have you ever lost your wallet, phone, keys before? Trying to frantically find your have you ever lost some of value before? I've lost my keys before. When you found your keys after you lost them, did you keep looking for them? But what does that have to do with you not being in business for very long? That that's us, sir. We're we're the best exterior cleaning specialist in the seven five seven. We can handle all of your home's needs to the best of our ability. We clean hundreds of millions of dollars for real estate every single year. And I can assure you, we'll give you a five-star rating after we're done with your service. But how, how, But you've only been doing it for one year. Well, we're, we're the best in the area. We, we, have, we, have, we do a lot of commercial, a lot of residential, hundreds of house washes. We, we grew very quickly. Um, our biggest lead flow is referrals, and that shows that we're obviously doing something right. Okay. Well, good. Well, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, just, you know what? I mean, obviously my asset on my home is like 500 grand. So at the end of the day, whether it's a little or a lot, it's 500 grand is a lot of money. So if I'm going to have anybody, you know, praying, you know, spraying uh, pressure wash on my house, I want to make sure somebody's been doing it a long time. So I think I'm just going to shop around a little bit, try to find somebody that's been doing it longer. But I really appreciate your time today. Okay. I love you, Andy. I'm watching your live. Motherfucker. <laughs> Lacey, give me somebody. I'm the owner. I'm the owner too, dude. I love you. I hey, watch all your stuff. Hey, man. listen. Hey, good job on that, shit, bro. You did a good job. I was f trying to dude, trigger I, your I ass. Nervous, dude. I'm sorry. No, you did. You did a good job, man. I'm proud of you, bro. But listen, hey, Thank you. hey, good job, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching this. Shit. Let's go crazy this year. No problem. Yes, sir. I love you. All right, love you more. Bye. All right, bye, bye. Okay, so we got the Navigator, and this is going to be sixty-seven thousand miles. All right, guys. So number one, nobody has Lincoln Navigators. Okay, they just don't exist. You know, they're like dinosaurs, uh, drive Lincoln Navigators. So I know they only have one, okay? So there's no like, oh, let me go walk out here and check it out. It's like they only got one. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, I was calling to get some information. Yeah, I was calling to get some information. I was calling to get some information about a vehicle I saw on the website. Okay, which vehicle? Yeah, 2019 Lincoln Navigator. Oh, we got an old fart on here. Okay. Watch, he's cranky. I can feel it already. Watch. This guy, we must trigger him. What kind of questions do you have? Yeah, do you still have it? Hello? Yeah, do you still have it? Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. Okay, and how many miles are on it? Uh, it says 67,682. 67, okay. Um, have you been inside of it? Um, I have not personally. I believe that it's up front. I can, um, if you give me your email address. Email. I can send you a video of it. I'll go create a video for you. No, no, I, I, I no, I saw. Actually, you know what? I did, I did jump inside yesterday. You did? 
Is is it a non-smoker? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I didn't notice anything like that. Okay, okay, and and so how many miles are on it again? Sixty-seven six. Sixty-seven six. Okay, I, my bad. I thought it had a little bit less miles on it. I think I'm going to look around for one with a little bit less miles. All righty. Well, thanks for calling. Let me know if I can help. B- buddy, just like that, you're going to let me go. Well, I'm. I'm. You. You keep cutting in and out. So I apologize for that. I, I'm not quite sure if I was waiting for you to talk or if I. Well, if you would like some more information. Well, I told you that I was going to. That I think it had a little bit too many miles. You heard that, right? I did hear that. Yeah, and then you said okay, and you were going to get off the phone. Were you going to go back and sit down and have a cup of coffee? Well, I was going to. I was going to actually offer if you would like to see the Carfax. I, if you give me your email address, I'll send you the Carfax, and you can see how it was maintained. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So let's go back to that. Appreciate it. I saw the Carfax on the website. Right. It was a good Carfax, okay. but I just really want one with less miles. Okay. Well, I apologize. I don't have one with less miles. Um, is there anything else that I can help with? Let me ask you a question. This is a 2019, it's 2024. How old is the vehicle? Okay, let me see when it was first titled. See, you can't get too scientific here. It's pretty simple. It's 2019, 2024, that's five years, right? It was first titled. Five divided by 60,000, okay, is what? What is that? 13,000 miles a year? Vehicle manufactured and shipped to Arizona. Well, listen, his perspective, he needs to shift my perspective. Notice he's getting in the weeds now. He's getting into the weeds. This is very simple. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, this vehicle is five years old. Listen, this vehicle is five years old. This vehicle has 67,000 miles on it. Do you understand that it's 15,000 miles a year? Most clients drive 25,000 miles a year. This vehicle does not have miles. This is extremely low miles for that year. Does that make sense? But do you see this? Is he, is he closing me? Is he selling me? He's giving me information. We don't need more information. We need to go from the objection to the close. And that's the problem is that most people can't take people across the finish line. Listen, I'm calling. I'm here ready to buy. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, so how, how, how old is the vehicle? I mean, how long has the vehicle been out? It's 2019, so how old is the vehicle? Well, like I said, it, it was originally uh, shipped to a dealership mm-hmm. March of 2019. So we're so, talking four years old. Or five years because it's 2024, right? The war- Roughly. Well, the, the warranty is 48 months, 50,000 miles from, from the date. Okay. Um, so if it's... start date of warranty was May 31st. Okay. So I don't know the date of manufacture. Okay. So let's say it's four years old. So four years divided by 67,000, right? What is that? Mm-hmm. About, about 17,000 miles a year? Yes. I'm just seeing if it actually shows that somewhere on the Carfax because they... They do have average. This is the problem. This is a sales v- prevention miles driven, team. Watch, 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 watch. Estimated length of ownership is four years, six months. What? Okay, so the estimated miles per year on this vehicle is 14,900 miles, right? Correct. Would we consider that lower miles or higher miles? Well, the average, I believe, is 15,000 miles. So that's what Carfax rates average mileage. So do you think that's pretty low miles? It's not overdriven? Yeah? That's kind of a personal opinion. I mean, if you're in Scottsdale, we see cars that are only driven two or 3,000 miles a year. Okay. So, so, so is this a sales I pre... I right about the average. Let me ask you a question. Is, are, is this a sales prevention line... I mean, what I'm asking is this. If I say the miles are too high and it's four years old and it's averaged 15,000 miles a year... It's not, it's that they're too high. It hasn't been driven a lot. So literally, I love the vehicle. I took the time to find it. I call you and all you do have to do is, is, is change my perspective or show me that it's not too high miles and then you create a sell. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna give you another crack at it. Okay. So, so I think the miles are too high. Come on. You got this. Okay. Well, all I'm simply all I'm simply doing is responding to to you to what you told me. I mean, I would certainly buy a uh, Lincoln's. Lincoln's are nice, solid cars. The car is in beautiful shape. Um, it doesn't look it doesn't look like it has been abused. It's got a great service history on it. There's no accidents reported to Carfax. Um, I would, if I were looking for a car this size, I would certainly 
seriously consider this one. Okay, now we're talking, buddy. That's what I mean. That's what I want to see you do. So listen, I want you to do me a favor. Do you got a pen on you? I do. Okay, I want you to write this down. Order taker. Okay? Now listen, people that are order takers go work at Walmart and they sell their dreams for a salary. But people that can influence and persuade learn to close and they can get whatever dream they want in life and they're worth whatever. They can write their own check. Okay, so all you need to do is because I like this car because I reached out to you. You didn't cold call me. You got to give me reasons and excuses why this is the right one. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay, does that help you? Absolutely. Okay, don't ever let me catch you being an order taker again, okay? I appreciate you. Okay, I, I want, appreciate your input. Uh, okay, you bet. I want you to go get them. The next guy that calls, close them, okay? All right. All right, have a good day. Okay, guys, I mean, I, I just, order takers, guys, I'm, I'm smelling a lot of blood. Now, notice, I'm just like, let's, let's get down some, like, common sense here. Those that train, those that plug themselves into content every day that helps them speak, talk, articulate their words, learn new language, overcome objections, they become the best, right? But the ones that don't know who I am, we're all order takers. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. These last two order takers that we called, did I coach both of them? Did I tell them how to handle it? If that guy, I would have been like, sir, this vehicle's four years old. Are you kidding me? It's got 67,000 miles. That's 15,000 miles a year. You know it's in the era right now where people live out of their cars, right? This vehicle should have 25,000 miles on it a year driven minimum or 30,000, which would be anywhere between 100 and 120,000 miles on it now. It has half that. Isn't that crazy? That's all they have to do. So I just want to tell you guys, like super, super important, right? This is how we, we become great by shifting the perspective of the client. Everybody do me a favor. We don't need to sell. I'm cool selling. I like closing, but we're going to paint pictures, tell stories, sell ideas, sell situations. You have to be able to shift the perspective of the customer. Super important. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.